Yesterday's ruling has many people now concerned about the future of other current protections, such as contraceptions and same-sex marriage. This as the city of Lexington celebrates Pride Month. Fox 56's Tyler Melita was downtown earlier and joins us with more. Good evening, Tyler. Good evening, Gigi. This was the scene last night at Robert F. Stevens Courthouse in downtown Lexington. Protesters against the Supreme Court's landmark decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Fast forward about 24 hours, and this was the scene today at the same courthouse. People coming out in full force for Lexington Pride, where although everyone was enjoying themselves, people still had their opinions on the significance of yesterday's decision. Now more than ever, because there's such power in numbers, um, and our history taught us that the best power in numbers, and since it seems like we're all on such the same page as an LGBTQ community, this is something that we can again work together for like we thought for so many we don't know what's going to happen in the future, but it's like, you know, we come and embrace each other as who we are. And it's like, no matter what the government decides, the power belongs to the people, no matter what. It was just all love each other, support each other, no matter what. Lexington Pride was delayed for two years because of COVID-19, and people are glad the event is back. It feels good to have something like this uh, after being cooped up for so long. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Pride coming out bigger than ever. Especially after recent world events. Not everyone in attendance was there to support. Peaceful protesters try to make their voices heard. But attendees had a message for them as well. It's like being who I actually am without putting a filter on it or like watering it down for people who might be scared of possibility. People are scared of queer people because we represent things that they could be. If they just questioned a little bit, if they just went out there a little bit, be a little vulnerable, like we represent possibility and that's what people hate. So what does pride mean to some who were in attendance? It's just really expressing who you are as a person. A lot of people really can express who they are through their personality, so they express it through either colors, tattoos, drawings, anything like that. So it's just expressing who you are. Although Pride Month is almost done for 2022, there are still some events that you can attend tomorrow. We'll have that information for you on our website, fox56news.com. Reporting in studio, I'm Tyler Melita, Fox 56 News.